Okay guys, <clears throat> back again with another video. I downloaded a few benchmarks that people wanted me to run. I'm not familiar with a lot of these. So you can see this is what I just ran on uh, 3D Mark Vantage. Uh, it's older, I figured it would do pretty good. So we'll clear it out, I'll rerun all these. Uh, a couple additions, it has Windows 10 on it now. I also picked up uh, Republic of Gamers, Asus, Strix, uh, RX 480, which is awesome. I was looking at 1070 and 1080 Founders, and uh, well, they're just too expensive. The more I kept thinking about some budget build, I kept, I kept thinking, you know, budget. Uh, and I actually found a Crucial M4 laying around. I stuck in there, solid state. So I got a one terabyte secondary drive now. Uh, Crucial M4 is my primary, uh, and then the Asus ROG Strix, which I'll show you a picture of that before I'm done. But for now, I'll go ahead and run these uh, these benchmarks. This is Geekbench 4. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I've never used this before, but it was requested. So we'll start this one. And actually, we'll go ahead and let that run. Uh, let's see what else I have up here. Uh, 7-Zip, I had that also. I'm not sure if I did this right. Uh, we'll wait till that's done. Uh, the only games I have right now are, I have Crisis 3 on here, which it runs good. I only run 1080p uh, on a 23. I'm going to get a better monitor, but I'm still only going to do 1080 because it's not that big of a deal to me. I want it to be smooth, but I don't really care about having, you know, a $1,000 monitor. I'm probably going to get about 32-inch TV and use it at 1080. But I've got Crisis 3, I've got Battlefield, uh... When I redid it, I jacked up my Final Fantasy 14 install, so I'll have to redo it. Uh, I got Heaven on here. I'll benchmark that, actually. Uh, let's see. There's Heaven. And I just went with the basic whatever's on that on Tessellation on. Uh, and I aliasing is off. I don't know if it's going to make that big of a difference in 1080 gaming. Uh, but as soon as this one's done, I'll go right into uh, heaven. We'll see what this thing does. Uh, then we'll do uh, we'll do heaven, and then we'll do the uh, 3D Mark Vantage. Uh, and actually, somebody also wanted to see CPU Z. So we'll do a benchmark with it also. Hopefully you can see everything okay. If not, I, you know I can redo it or screenshot or whatever. Uh, think about putting another 480 in it. It's starting to get out of hand. Uh, just to do it and see you know what it does. So there's a 3450 single, 15761, uh, multiple scores. Uh, Here's the single core performance. And I'll stay there for a second. Uh, you, you just have to pause it if you see something you want to check out. Uh, multi core performance. And there are those. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'm not going too fast. I'm trying to. Give everybody a couple minutes to look. So let's go ahead and bench the CPU in CPU Z, and I'll show you something I found out with this also. 
So I'm not sure if you can see it's getting uh, 1588. Uh, well, that's kind of where it stopped at 1587. Uh, multi core, it's up to about 10,657, 58, almost 10,660. Uh, if we go down here to the 7700K, uh, it does beat it in single thread, which I knew it would. It gets 2301. The Xeon gets 1588 at 4.4 GHz, 4 but it wins at the multi thread 10656 versus 9963. Another interesting thing is that it destroys the 9590, and that's that came out way after this. I mean, that's. 1588 to 1376 it's unbelievable how how bad those cps are and i was a huge amd guy that was my thing i just i kept getting tired of getting you know even the 8350 it's even worse it's it's unbelievable how crappy these cpus are uh the i5 6600k uh it gets uh 1813 versus 1588 single thread i'm gonna guess that makes a difference of two fps in a game which is not you can't tell the difference you stuck two units beside each other you would not be able to see the difference between two fps on either machine uh so there was uh cpu z let's go ahead and run this uh so i have no idea if i'm running seven zip right either uh we'll go ahead and let it run for a second and hopefully you can see that one I don't know if you have to let these run a little longer to get them to the score to change. I, I'm not even sure what the score. I'm assuming it's the uh, MIPS, uh, which are 3,090 and 34,399. Uh, you know, all that run another probably 10, 15 seconds. So this made two passes, so I'm assuming it just keeps repeating. We'll stop that one. 